Now the last topic we're going to talk about from chapter 7 is solving systems of nonlinear equations by graphing. So this is by graphing. Um, later this week we're going to learn to use substitution and addition methods to solve these also, but right now we're going to stick with graphing. So let's start by looking at number 22. Your first job is to identify what the graph of this equation is. So I see an x squared and a y squared. There's a plus between them, and the coefficients are different. So that is an ellipse. So the first thing I need to do is write it in standard form. And I know standard form of an ellipse has a 1 over here on the left. So I'm going to divide everything through by 4. And when I simplify that, I will get x squared over 1. I leave the 1 there, so I remember to count. Put y squared over 4 is equal to 1. Now I do the same thing with the second equation. The second equation has a y squared and an x squared, but this time there's a minus between them, and so I know right away that that is a hyperbola because of the negative sign there. So again, a hyperbola has a 1 on the, on the right-hand side of the equation, and so I divide through by 4, and I will get y squared over 4 minus x squared over 1 equals 1. And now you just need to graph both of those and find the points of intersection. So, let's use some different colored pens to do this. I'm going to use green to do my ellipse and red to do my hyperbola. So the ellipse centered at 0, 0, I go left one, right one, up two, down two, and connect them to make a little ellipse. Okay. Now let me use my black pen to get my uh, guidelines for my hyperbola. The hyperbola is again centered at zero, zero. And be careful, I go left one and right one. Okay, so same spots. I go up two and down two, but this time I make the box. And remember, through that box, I make the diagonals. You can't even see my ellipse anymore. And the point of using the diagonals was for guidelines. Now, which way does this ellipse, um, sorry, does this uh, hyperbola open? Since the y squared came first and then it's minus the x squared, it opens up and down, so there on that edge. There's one branch of my hyperbola. There's the bottom branch of my hyperbola. And you can't see this, but the hyperbola and the ellipse both share these two points. So this point is at 0, 2. And this point is at 0, negative 2. And that would be my solution set. So now I want you to do the same thing with all of these. You just graph and find the points of intersection. So I'll help you identify these. When we look at 23, I see that only the y portion is squared and not the x portion, so I know this is a parabola. When I look at the second equation, now you go, oh, well, that's just a line. So you're just going to graph that line. Okay. When we look at number 24, the first equation. I have an x and the y portion is squared, so again this is a parabola. And it's even in the form we like it in. And the second equation has an x squared and a y squared. There's a plus between them. And the numbers in front are the same. There's nothing there. There's one in front of each, so this is a circle. Turns out to be a very tiny circle, but that is a circle. So I will let you guys graph those, um, look at your answer key for the answers, and we are done with chapter 7.